today is the opening day of Fly Over Canada. This is a virtual flight experience and we are here with the president of Fly Over Canada, Mr. Stephen Geddes, and let's ask some questions from him. Uh, my business partner Andrew Strang and I were uh, in the tourism business uh, and had sold our company and wanted to uh, open a, a downtown attraction. We thought that Vancouver, the downtown, could use another attraction to appeal to cruise ship passengers and other tourists who were downtown. Um, Andrew and his family were down at uh, Disneyland and saw a ride called Soaring Over California. Oh and yeah, really actually I was coming to that, but we have been there and we had similar experience there. Oh, so. uh, really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so Andrew had come back from his holiday and was telling me about Soaring Over California and we got talking about it and thought, wow, wouldn't that be great if you do a ride like that over Canada? And um, so um, we started thinking about it and thought that would just do so well in downtown. So we thought, well, where would we do it? You need a big building to create the ride. And uh, we looked into it a bit and found out that the IMAX theater was, uh, IMAX is moving out of the theater in uh, late 2009. And uh, so we approached Canada Place and uh, they loved the idea and we went from there. So it took you about four, five years? About four years. We did it, uh, that was the fall of 2009. So we first started working on the idea and now uh, we're in uh, June 2013. So not Years but uh, it's been a great, really fun process. Um, we uh, got to travel all across Canada with the uh, filmmakers. Uh, filmmakers are a company out of Whistler called Interview Cinema. And uh, they had done a couple of really uh, uh, beautiful ski movies that we had seen, and we loved the area of cinematography and the way they edited their films together. So we thought they would be really good for this project, and we approached them, and they got extremely passionate about it and uh, did, I think, a wonderful job on the film. And uh, so that was a really fun process. And, and, and just developing the ride and the attraction itself and all that goes into it um, has been a lot of work, but really fun. And uh, so is it all done, or are you planning to upgrade it in the future? We've got, we've got a few ideas. I don't like to give them all away, but there are a couple of things that we're working on now uh, for the relatively near future are uh, to um, seasonal films for uh, um, the 2014 Halloween and Christmas season. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's, that, that'll be coming for sure. And then we've got a few other ideas. It's, it's such a great ride mechanism, a beautiful screen, and a great projection system. There are a number of different things that we can do down the road. We can change our film a bit, go to some other locations in Canada, maybe make the film longer for, to be shown in uh, sort of slower times of the year. Uh, yeah, so we've got lots of ideas. And is there any similar thing here in Canada, or is this the only one? Not really. This is, this is a very unique experience. Uh, really, the only thing I don't like it is uh, the Disney ride in uh, California and in uh, Florida. They have touring over California and Florida. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.